Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking kill him! Oh, where are you, man? I'm chasing T through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. like 
gasoline, Trevor! Man, that was your best fucking friend! Fuck you. Oh. 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 You know what, tough guy? It's... It's time you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit... No boundaries. No sense of when to back off. No nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. But fuck him. I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. It's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, got a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Train track? Come on! You see the train, asshole? Shit, I ain't getting past there. Ah! Fuck, man, you kidding me? Man, fuck this shit. a hard decision. Franklin, you were like a 
son to me! We both used each other, that's what happened! Oh shit! Ah shit! you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh -huh. Every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking A right! Performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did. You. Two bit gangster gone three bit. And now you're gonna. Gap. The only one who was ever decent to you. Ha! No. I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. Ha! My. Let's just. Fuck you! Hey! You told me when the time came? <sighs> I know! I'm sorry! No! Ah! 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 Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, then all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking!
I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you. A possibly obvious high key issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, get me out of here! Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick. Give me money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I'm gonna get you! Take the money! Let me down! Pipe down! If I empty a clip into the trunk. I put in my trunk are usually dead. minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Hi, 
Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. I'll tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.